update. It's raining. I'm in a tree. Hopefully there's no thunder. Um, yeah, I'm gonna rain. It's gonna get pretty wet now. And I don't think I'm gonna see animals in the rain. And it's quite cold. Ooh. Just have to protect the camera. I've seen golden wildebeests and uh, blessed buck, but I haven't seen any pigs, so yeah, I'm still sitting. I absolutely love and adore the smell of the rain on the wet sand. Um, yeah, it's just not, it's very cold. But I'm enjoying every second of it. This is very cold. Freaking hell. I don't want to get off here. There's no thunder so I can stay in here, but I don't want to get off here because that ladder is going to be slippery as Okay, so here we go. We got the arrow. All the flitches have gone off, but it fell into the water, so we uh, we can't see any blood. This is the first blood. Very telling signs. And uh, we found some more blood over there. Here, got blood. Here we found a lot of blood. She stood still here for a while, and then. What is up guys? So as you guys can see, I'm back in the room and we haven't found it yet. Let me just check for this part. I just spent the last uh, six minutes speaking to a camera without it even being on record. So let's see if I can remember everything I said. Um, we have, as you can see, we haven't found the, we haven't found the water yet. I would have posted a photo if I did. Uh, the shot was very low. And um, that is partially due to human error, obviously, and then uh, 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 my range finder, and this is because of the human error, I didn't range more than once. I only ranged it once, I saw it was at 38 yards, I couldn't get my range finder, and um, I thought it was well, shoot the shot, shot felt great, as you guys saw in the slow-mo, it, it looked good, and then, uh, but when I was seeing the warthog run away, the blood was gushing out from below and I thought to myself, why is the shot so low? First thing is, first thing is you go through all the excuses possibly in the, in the handbook, because um, that's what any sane person does, think of excuses. And um, the thing I did actually discover, which was, it's an excuse, yes, but it might be valid, is I rearranged with the range fund, I rearranged the distance the warthog was standing at and found that it wasn't 38 yards, but 42 yards, not 42, which is four yards more than what I thought it was. And so I shot low. It was a gut shot and the blood was dripping and pouring out of the ball when he was running. And then after about 150, as all gut shots do, the blood started thinning out and becoming droplets and droplets. And then the night hit us and this is where I am now. So tomorrow morning early, half past five, heading back out I have to be home. I have to drive, leave here by nine. So we have three hours. Half past five, tomorrow morning, 
12 for 6 6 12 for 7 3 hours to uh, to to see if we can't find this warthog I have now researched up a bit on how to if the blood runs out what to do because normally uh, there's a blood or here we use trackers so they normally know how to track from hoof prints or spores I don't know how to do that so uh, I'll see I'll see how tomorrow goes but anyway I'm now off to bed it's been a long day it's been a long sit night I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far I'll see you guys in the morning okay guys so we found a bit more blood this morning and so uh, we've been on this thing for now an hour and a half not looking good the blood we found some more blood about 30 meters on but then it dried up again so now because we can't find any more sign and we've tried for a while now i'm just using a sweeping motion because the water came from there came running like this so i'm using a sweeping motion going through there and back and through all the way about a couple of hundred yards that way see if i can't maybe find them but yeah i'll keep you guys updated i want to ask what that print is but i also don't want to know what that print is kind of i don't see nails so it's a big cat maybe leopard there's another one over here yeah it was going upwards anyway just walking along the roads now trying to see if we can't find a sign or anything it's been 45 minutes since I've last spoken to you guys so yeah hopefully we find it I am doubting it though but we'll see okay guys so it is officially time for me to go back home we didn't end up finding uh, the warthog uh, we followed we got some i think about 30 meters of blood this morning well a little bit more blood but the, the warthog stopped bleeding totally so we didn't we couldn't find it eventually but uh that's hunting it's it's part of life you you can't get all of them so otherwise it would have been called shooting but anyway i just want to thank Ryan, yeah, for inviting me. Thanks, my pleasure, Ryan. my pleasure. And uh, you want to tell us a bit more about your outfit? Yeah, well, if you folks are wanting to come uh, and, and do a bit of uh, bushveld hunting, um, I have uh, basically two properties that I utilize. I've got one here that is just 20 kilometers out of Tabzimbi. We've got uh, six k's of dirt road. Um, it's not a very big property, but it's, uh, it's solely for the use of bow hunting. And I mean, Vian has been here for a couple of days now. He's... You Yo, seen, I've seen tons of animals. I've seen yeah. Yala, gold, golden wildebeest, blue wildebeest. I've seen baboons, vervet monkeys. I've seen uh, blessbuck, impala, warthogs, lots of warthogs. And the list goes on. And and the other thing that we sort of strive to do with a smaller property here is is the, 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 the game that we've purchased in has been sp for specific types of body size, um, horn length that sort of thing i, I mean vian can tell you he, we've got probably some of the biggest female water be wildebeest that he's seen i can show you you guys probably saw it on the video earlier it's part of the b-roll just rewind to there if you guys want to see it again there's some big nyalas in here um there's a stack of golden wildebeest um there's very nice pigs i mean you you'll probably have seen that video of mine from last year i'll, I'll link it in the description yeah i mean that's 14 and three quarter inches there i mean it's it, it's big stuff so that's this property. Then the other property that I've got is uh, towards uh, Lepalale or, Elis, or the old Elis Russ. That's 2,000 hectares. That's called Mohidiri. I will give Vian the link for that as well. Down um, in the description. Yeah, down in the description. Um, and that's a, that's a very special place as well. Uh, it's got 10, 10, 10 bow hides on it. Um, it's got a ton of game on it. It, it really is. It's a great place to, to, to both rifle hunt and bow hunt we have 10 blinds there they're all over water and uh and there's a small self-catering camp on that on that piece of ground it's just a, a special place to be anyway follow this dude like and subscribe his videos and follow mine as well yeah and, uh, the african hunting safaris yeah the african allure hunting safaris yes. so you know follow us both 
and uh, hopefully we'll do another collab at some stage. Yes, uh, hopefully. Kind of like this, so he's all right. You know? He's also like a... <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks again, bro. Thanks, Ryan. And uh, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for the view. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, I have a couple of interesting hunts planned for this year, so you guys must stay also, tuned. Also, before we knock off there, you know, you can put the hate comments, but this is real life stuff. It's not, it's not... You know, things go wrong when you go hunting. Mm -hmm. Nothing's ever perfect. So, yes. you know, if you want to leave a hate comment, or comment, we're just going to scroll past it. Cheers, folks. Cheers. Have a good one. There's one of the tree stands on the, on the farm. Up there it is. You can see it. It was very well camouflaged. Uh, very nice tree stand. It's a single bed. Yeah. It's uh, the base of a single bed. And it's a nice place for a camera and everything. And this is your your shooting lane and everything, yeah. See, if you move a bit away from the tree stand, you can't see it at all. So yeah, very well camouflaged.